and it has its tentacles into every continent on Earth in terms of uh, the flow out of Africa. And when you have snares that have been kept there to catch, even if it's not chimpanzees that are being caught, they always end up being caught in some of these. Babies are being sold beside the cut-up bodies of their mothers in the market. It's called the bushmeat trade. They're not the village. We are concerned Saboku. Or consume the animal. This is the chimpanzee, our closest living relative. And this is what wild chimpanzees' lives should look like, playing out in the forest with their families, far away from the threat of poachers. But sadly, this is rarely the case. Any day could be their last. Great ape survival is severely threatened by the illegal bushmeat trade or the large-scale commercial killing of wild animals for food. This multi-billion dollar industry is wiping out chimpanzee and other ape populations at an alarming rate, and the demand for bushmeat is only increasing. The Jane Goodall Institute is one of the organizations trying to combat the bushmeat industry in Africa. When I began in 1960, there were at least one million chimpanzees right across to West Africa. And today, no more than 150,000 at most. It's not just that their habitat's disappearing, which it is, just as it has here, but it's also that they're hunted. They're hunted to some extent for the live animal trade, but they're also hunted for meat, along with gorillas and bonobos and elephants and everything that walks or flies. Au début, c'était une chasse dans l'ancien temps. C'était une chasse traditionnelle. C'était pour la consommation. Mais maintenant, il y a une chasse commerciale qui s'annonce, qui progresse. Et avec cette chasse commerciale, nous, nous sommes en train de voir cette évolution très, très, très vraiment dangereuse. Cette chasse commerciale est née, c'est pas tellement loin. À cause de, de la pauvreté, à cause de, de, de manque d'autres encadrements à la population, c'est ainsi que la population se donne entièrement à cette chasse pour aller vendre, pour payer les minerval des enfants, pour euh, payer les habits avec ça. C'est ça que cette chasse-là est devenue vraiment commerciale. Et c'est vraiment très risque qu'à la longue, il y aura l'extinction de quelques espèces. Native populations living near the forests inhabited by apes have performed subsistence hunting for centuries, but this practice has become increasingly commercial in recent years. This is partially due to the growing logging and mining industries giving hunters easier access to the deeper forests where the apes live, and also because people have realized how profitable the bushmeat trade is, so they've stopped killing animals just to feed their families, and now kill them in larger quantities to sell at markets. It's a controversial issue because these people depend on bushmeat for their survival, but there must be a way for them to live without killing off all of the apes. And there are so many more consequences to the bushmeat industry than just the slaughtering of apes. Everything is interconnected. There are countless health risks associated with eating bushmeat, including the spread of deadly diseases such as AIDS and Ebola. It hinders any progress being made on species and biodiversity conservation and is associated with deforestation and climate change since the bushmeat industry is so closely tied with the logging and mining industries. The orphaned apes whose parents are killed for bushmeat suffer the cruelest fates of all. They watch their parents die right before their eyes and are ripped off of their mother's still warm chests to enter the live animal trafficking industry. Many of these babies will spend the rest of their lives trapped inside a tiny cage. Poachers wouldn't waste a bullet on a baby, but without a mother, most of them end up dying regardless, and ape populations just continue to get smaller and smaller. How can you go from this to this and this 
and this, and this. This is how. The hunting of apes is driven by market demand. The continued loss of so many great apes in Africa and Asia could cripple the ecological health of those regions. Tougher law enforcement, stricter punishment, and a global awareness campaign that closes down both ends of the supply chain are required. Now, before it's too late. It's been estimated that chimpanzees cannot survive more than 15 to 20 years unless we do something right now to halt the bushmeat trade, or at least to, to reduce the bushmeat trade. Humans are single-handedly driving our closest relatives to extinction. If the bushmeat trade doesn't stop now, it certainly will in a few decades when there are no apes left to hunt. There is no time to waste, but thankfully it is not yet too late. With government enforcement, education of the local hunters and their children, and more widespread awareness of the dangers of the bushmeat trade, ape populations still have a chance at survival. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go.